Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video we'll cover things you might want to do with a cursor in your Godot game. This includes hiding the cursor and a couple of different ways of setting a custom cursor or an animated cursor. Let's start out with hiding the cursor. Um, we have our game with a cutscene. We want to get rid of the cursor so it doesn't get in the way. Uh, we do this by using set mouse mode in our input singleton input dot set mouse mode mouse mode hidden this will affect our cursor for the other scenes as well so after the cutscene is done uh, we want to show it again mouse mode visible play as you can see the cursor is not shown and it doesn't get in the way of the cutscene Second thing uh, we want to do is set a custom cursor. The easiest way to do this is to find mouse cursor in the display section in our project settings. Uh, custom image, find our cursor. There it is. Um, we have our custom image hotspot setting here. This will shift uh, the pointer of the cursor from the top left corner of our image. For example, we have our cursor here right now, but if we wanted to set a crosshair cursor, its pointer would still be in the top left. So as you can see, we're already hitting the button over here. If we want the pointer to be in the center of the crosshair, we would change the offset to half of the width of our image. And ta-da, our pointer is now in the center of the cursor. One thing to note with this way of setting the cursor is that if you're scaling the resolution of your game like you would in a pixel art game, cursor will not get scaled. So if you want your cursor to be scaled, we'll cover that a little later in the video. But first, let's see how we can do the same thing programmatically. We'll get rid of our cursor here. Sorry. And we will go into our menu scene. So first thing that we want to do is load our cursor image. And next, enter input, set custom mouse cursor. This takes three parameters. The first is our image. The second is the shape that we want to affect. Uh, normally the cursor is in, a, in the arrow shape, but when we hover over, say, like a text edit, and it goes into the eye beam shape, and it looks the cursor looks different. So if we just want to affect the arrow shape, we put this to arrow cursor dot arrow, and the last is our vector two of the offset. So I'll set that to zero, and there we go. So this should cover how to set a custom cursor, but if you want to have an animated cursor or if you want to scale the cursor with the scaling of your game, um, you would have to hide the mouse like we did with our cutscene. And we would have to draw a sprite instead of it. So let's drop our texture. There we go, our sprite is here. Change this to sprites. Um, this script is attached to the mouse node in a function process we will set the position of the sprite to the get global mouse position we will drop our mouse scene into the game and there we go our sprite scales with the game. So this is this is a 320 by 160 pixel game scaled by two. And as you can see, our cursor is scaled as well. So the last thing that we will cover is how to make an animated cursor. We'll just change this to an animated sprite. We will create sprite frames for it. Um, just these two. And we will change this to extends animated sprite. There we go. Our amazing animated cursor. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was informative, and I'll see you next time.